I'm on day one of the Great Northern Tour. Beautiful morning. In fact, I think the week is promised excellent, so I got lucky with the, the week I picked. Um, I'm just after leaving in a scrone. Um, probably you can see the sea over there. So we're going to stick stick by the coastline for the next. Um, I think it's about 550 kilometers, 600 kilometers of coastline. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an epic. It's um, it's a lot longer than that one. But the tours I did last year, so uh, hopefully <laughs> things will go okay. I'm going to aim. I have my route plan done out. Today is actually one of the longer days, uh, under 90 kilometers. Tomorrow it's actually down for a long day as well, but I have options. Don't have to stop at the exact points. I have bike loaded up here with tent and the whole lot so pretty much can stop anywhere um rolling in on now here it is scrolling next I'm heading towards Sligo and uh, Sligo follow the coastline and my target today is to get to Bundoran lively spot and um, yeah so what time are we now? 11.50 and I have 110 kilometers. So with lunch and lots of stops and like I'm not rushing here, it's not all about mileage, it's really to appreciate the countryside, especially in this sort of weather. So if I get there before six I'd be happy. Six hours on the kilometer, yeah yeah, easily do that. So that's the target. And then I'm settle down for the evening. And uh, yeah, day one. So I'll check in maybe later on when up around Bundorn. But for now, actually another nice thing about today is I've got a tailwind. So I'm here freewheeling. And looking at the forecast for the week, it changes later in the week. It becomes maybe a westerly, which kind of suits. So long as it's not a... Um, so long as it's not a headwind going home, this could be a result. So certainly lapping up the tailwind today, we've got to make uh, good progress. Okay, over and out till later on. Don't want that, no flowery language. <laughs> no. Uh, day two anyway. We're near Killy Beggs. Just come out Killy Beggs. Scorcher. They say the weather's like this all the time. Hills are bloody everywhere. Lovely views. A uh, lunch in our dry, I think. Found um, an old cottage outside uh, Bundoran last night. Set up out the back. A bit too close to the road. There's a bit of traffic up to about midnight. And uh, yeah, beautiful views. So check in later. Further on up the coast.
day three. Uh, spent the night in Port New, right on the coast. Uh, it's lovely. So we're now um, heading to Dunlo first, which is, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. And then um, we're hoping to get to what's the name of the place. Anyways, it's about 170 kilometers today if we want to get back on track to completing the tour in six days. And that depends on the climbs. Yesterday, huge amount of climbing, which meant very slow progress. I think the day's total was 150. That was all hard work. So, roads here are like Spain at the moment, in that they're nice surface, a few cars around, but they, uh, it's kind of got all this cycling doing in Spain, it's got a kind of a bit of a Spanish vibe to it here at the moment with the rocks and the, the good surfaces and all of that. So um, all these traffic lights down here, so I better put this down. I'll check in later. temperatures um, no wind that's the rock swilly there is to get to the other side of that then to learn kidney first and then we're heading north then up to Manon Head the furthest point north the furthest point north in Ireland as well as the furthest point north of the tour so time to rack up a couple of kilometers road surface is good as well a few cars around How are you, Trevor? Good for you. I got a bit of supply. <laughs> Is it alcohol? No, hey, water is more important. We, we, we knew there'd be no water out here, so we said, what are we going to do? Oh, the man in the camper van gave me that. Ah, oh, that's it, Nobby. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I knew he give me the one to know more about if I could carry it. <laughs> I stayed in Malin Head last night, um, got to the topmost point and then got a, found a beach nearby. Woke up this morning at sea fog, it's quite kind of eerie, spooky, very kind of desolate sort of vibe. And then 
some woman told us it's pretty flat back to Derry but we went on the coastal route and there were some brutal climbs um, way up into we actually ended up climbing higher than the clouds almost so here in Derry right now just going down by the river along a greenway here of some I think um, it's about a railway tracks earlier on so it must have been a um, Webby line running along here. Not a beautiful day. Temperature set to um, temperature set to get to around 30. When you're moving on the bike, it's not too bad. When you're stopped, oh my goodness, it's warm. So I don't know how long we go along this here. Um, the plan will be well bit of a big ask but if we could get to in a skillin it would mean a nice 150 kilometers tomorrow still a big cycle but not like torture 200 plus so right now I'm looking here I'm on 777 so another 23 gets us to 800 so 50, 60, 70, yeah we really need to get another 70 odd kilometers in today it's now 3 o'clock should be possible, a lot depends on the climate I don't like this. and there is said um, Wavy line it's a very narrow gauge not entirely sure what route that was. Okay, so we'll continue on. I'm not sure how much longer this greenway. It's very nice because there's no cars. Very pleasant. We don't go very fast though. But I said it's it was a nice change from um, the busy busy roads. So there's more the river. Let's travel along the greenway here out of Derry. Lovely greenway, nice surface. It's actually nice and cool out of the hot temperatures outside. We're heading south, so at least right direction. Is that as if we're on this just for the sake of it and having to go back around some other way to get back on track it's going directly south cool if we had this all the way oh there's a turn coming so it might be the end of it we'll see in a minute 